Doctors at Allegheny General Hospital say they're seeing a serious uptick in people dealing with side effects from what's called the zombie drug. KDKA consumer investigator Megan Schiller joins us in the studio now. Megan, when you see the pictures, you understand why it's called the zombie drug. Doctors tell you that they want people to know how often they're seeing this. Yeah, these doctors say they are seeing enough people come in with the nasty side effects of this horse tranquilizer. So much so they wanted people to see and hear what happens if you or someone you love comes in contact with xylazine. Xylazine. It's a horse tranquilizer that drug dealers are mixing in illicit drugs to increase the high from opioids. Yeah, so we've had a major uptick in the amount of uh, patients that we've had that we've ex expected it. ER doctor Brent Rao keeps seeing people walk into Allegheny General Hospital dealing with those so-called zombie skin issues. Necrosis of the skin down to the bone. They come in with just big festering wounds. The Allegheny County Medical Examiner's Office tells KDKA investigates 96 people have overdosed with xylazine in their system since January of 2023. We heavily blurred these pictures of the skin ulcers that appear at injection sites, but Dr. Rao says these photos are tame in comparison to what he's seeing here in Pittsburgh. They're going to need everything from um, a great deal of wound care, debridement in the operating room where they actually cut away the tissue and in severe cases, you know, potentially get an amputation of the limb itself. Dr. Rao said in many cases, people think they're using heroin or cocaine, but find it is now laced with this so-called trank. And the fact it's not an opioid makes it difficult for doctors to treat and reverse. And the biggest effect by far is the fact that if somebody comes in and is experiencing shortness of breath, respiratory distress, Somebody that if we're thinking that this is an opiate overdose and we would generally give Narcan, uh, th that medication does not work with xylazine. Dr. Rao says they'll still use Narcan, but also use oxygen in breathing tubes. So if you suspect that someone has xylazine in their system, you are told to still administer Narcan if you have it, since it is often mixed with opioids. So you will do some good with that. The FDA says it's continuing to investigate the source of xylazine in the illicit drug supply across our country. Reporting in the studio, Megan Schiller, KDK News.